Hey everyone, it's Andrew Cartwright here. Hope you had a nice week. Yeah, because this is the end of it. Friday, TGI Friday. And have an even better weekend because that's what you need is to just relax and have a great weekend. Here's your unemployment update for Friday, December 4th, 2020. We rip through all the articles so you don't have to and bring it to you. All you got to do is just like the video. That's it. Find out how nearly a quarter million non-farming jobs were added during November. And uh, we're going to squeeze a little tiny bit of bad news in there. But if you can take it and get through it, we'll tell you some really good news. Which industry saw some significant job losses last month? That's the hard part. And the great news from one state that could mean $1,800 in your bank account before the holidays after this. And remember, there's still CARES Act money all over in the states. So there's probably more money that could pop up in your state, county, anytime after this. For the best news and information to master and dominate your money, business, and life, stay tuned to the channel. Also, we give away money here. We hit 150,000 subscribers, which was so close. We're giving away $1,500. All you have to do is subscribe, like, and comment. That's it. Just subscribe, like, and comment, and you're entered to win $1,500. If you're impatient, like so many of us are, you know, um, go down in the comments, hit the Weeble link, get four free stocks. I'm not kidding, right? It's an amazing promotion going on right now. And if you fund the account for $100, you can get two stocks that are valued up to $1,600. So just crazy. Check it out. You know, it doesn't hurt to check it out. But first, the monthly jobs report for November was recently released, showing lots of jobs created, but not at the pace that we'd like to see for a full recovery. Yeah, so, and it's pretty obvious why, right? There's this thing out there. Yeah, it's wreaking havoc. 245,000 non-farm payroll jobs were added last month which is far lower than October's additional, get this, take a deep breath, Woosa, 610,000 positions. That's like a lot, right? We're talking about 400 and some odd thousand, yeah, drop. It's, it's also significantly less than the predictions that even, I guess, the Dow Jones uh, economists had who guessed that it would be 445 thousand jobs would be gained during the month of November. Think about that. Economists are generally not off by 200,000 when it, I mean, like almost half. They're never that far off. So yeah, I don't think they expected more shutdowns. Look at what happened in California yesterday. Oh my God. R just even more shutdowns. Tom Simmons, money, ma um, money market economist of Jeffries, explained the dire situation, but also closed with a positive. Quote, on the plus side, average hourly wages are up 0.3%. Yes, we can squeeze every positive moment we can out of this situation. Since jobs are becoming more scarce and fewer positions are being added to the workforce, the need is urgent for more extended enhanced unemployment benefits to get us into the new year. Thank God there's $908 billion on the table that include unemployment enhanced benefits. Oh, we need those. Meanwhile, the restaurant industry is hurting across America, feeling the pain with the month of November being the first month since April to see so many loss, so many losses of jobs, just ridiculous. Last month, the restaurant industry lost 17,400 jobs with many positions eliminated due to the restrictions. Thank you to that thing out there. And a lot of people are also running into reorganization where the reorganizing companies and eliminating positions. And it's just really, really a trying time right now. At this time, the average unemployment rate of restaurants, just restaurants across America, 13.8%, which we can all agree is way too high, way too high. With the rise in hiring during the summer, dire down during the cold winter months, the need for unemployment benefits is dire 
especially for those working in the restaurant industry because you could just feel it. So when you're thinking about, do I tip? Like, I, I don't know about you, but I hit a restaurant yesterday and I like saw the 15% tip. I actually tip 40%. 40%. It's the first time I tip 40% in my life. No, I've tipped more than that before. Depends if the service is really great. But 40%. Why? I looked at the restaurant. I'm thinking, God, she's only got one fourth of the customers. I don't even know if 40% was enough. I think I should have just did 100% the whole bill. When I think about it, she's getting a fourth of what she normally gets. So my tip should be four times the amount. I guess that's 80% tip. Gee. I'm gonna have to go to the restaurant like half as much, I guess. And finally, the great state of Connecticut announced that they will finally be helping tens of thousands of residents receive their long awaited FEMA FEMA sponsored. This is sad. Uh, really? Uh, wow, slow. Can we say slow? President Trump signed $1,800 unemployment benefits. Let me remind you guys, that was back again. August 31st, you know, the month of yeah, September. Yeah, yeah, that was a long time ago. Governor Ned uh, Lamont signed the executive order, which, quote, will allow the department to extend lost wage assistance to most of the 38,000 people who were earning enough, who weren't earning enough, that didn't meet that threshold that triggered the additional $300 federal assistance. Remember I was talking about this way back when, and we were like, this sucks. So if you're getting $99, you don't get it? Yep, you didn't get it. Well, 38,000 people fell in that crack. Lamont explained that this will help roughly 38,000 Connecticut unemployment claimants by bumping up all claims less than $100 per week to the eligible 100 bucks so they can get their $600, their $300 for 6 weeks probably all at once, 1800 bucks. He stated, quote, it's going to return 55 million to working moms and dads across the state of Connecticut and that it means the holiday season in terms of being able to maybe get a little something extra for their child for Christmas or Hanukkah, whichever you prefer or whichever you are. It's cool with me. This is amazing news. I, I, I celebrate them all. You know, why miss a holiday? You know what I mean? You can just have them all, right? This is amazing news for anyone in Connecticut, and I hope that these ex extra enhanced unemployment benefits will make life a little easier during the holiday season for you and your family. And guess what? If you still haven't applied for these benefits, these unemployment assistance, start off the weekend, right? With a uh, unemployment party, right? Start it off by applying for your PUA or your UI. Sometimes it's separate websites, so the party's in separate places, right? Just put in your party details, like your name and, you know, information. Make sure you throw in your party ID to verify your actual ID, because if you don't, they'll figure that there's identity theft and you'll get caught up in the bureaucracy. And for your pain, the agony of punching your fingers into the keyboard, you could be eligible to receive a $20,000 from the sky wired into your account and you can see your account balance grow by 20 grand like we had somebody just the other couple days ago, a lady, which was awesome. If you're a gig worker, not left out, self-employed independent contractor, 1099 or even side hustle, volunteer or freelancer. I know you guys do not think that you qualify for these funds. You'd be surprised if you answer honestly, the PUA is for you, the Pandemic Unemployment Assistance, Every day I say it, and every day somebody gets it and goes, wow, Andrew's pretty cool. Then they subscribe, like, and comment, and then they're entered to win 1500 bucks. Hey, but don't miss out on your chance to get these amazing government unemployment benefits, which expire December 31st, because these kind of things, they don't last long, and the, whatever the government usually giveth, they take it away. So make sure you get it, you know, because so, you're going to have to pay it back probably in taxes anyway, just, to be, just being real. So... Uh, keep sharing your PUA and unemployment uh, experience with us. We see, some, I think, so many of the different comments. I love your comments, your stories. Uh, just are amazing, uh, especially people who say they haven't gotten their benefits since March or the secondary thing hasn't kicked in. My state is this, that. It's just unbelievable. They're so interesting to read. It means so much when you reach out and you put a comment because it gives us a chance to feel what you're going through. 
or experience or see what's happening in your state. I love you. I care about you so much. Thanks for being a part of our community. And I hope you stick around because we aim to just do everything possible to help you with your money, your business, and your life. I love you.